number 16. The ionization constant for water, which is Kw, is 2.9 times 10 to the negative 14th at 40 degrees Celsius. And from that information, we have to calculate the H3O+, plus, the OH-, minus, the pH, and the pOH for this pure water at 40 degrees Celsius. So basically, we need four answers. Lovely. All right, so let's get down to business. Now, for this chapter, there's going to be a lot of formulas that we need to know. So I wrote down a couple of them or a few of them that we're going to use for this uh, question right here. Now I broke them up into purely acidic formulas for when you have hydronium ions, which is H plus and H goes with H pH. I wrote down one base formula that we're going to need for the hydroxide ion, which is OH minus and OH goes with OH. Then there's one very, very handy formula that has both the acidic hydronium H plus and the basic hydroxide formula. So we need to memorize these, especially if your teacher or professor doesn't give these to you uh, on a test or quiz. So the only thing that they gave us was they gave us the KW, right? So we know this formula, right? Or we can use this because they gave us KW. So Let's just write that out. They said that we have a KW equal to 2.9 times 10 to the negative 14th. Now, in this case, we have to find out the hydroxide, which is OH minus, and the hydronium, which is H3O plus. But I'm just going to put a little note down here that H3O plus, and maybe I'll put the plus up there, this is equal to H plus. This is just a difference of when you're talking about two different waters reacting with each other in terms of one uh, water breaking down. I like to use H plus because it's easier when we do H and H, right? There's no such thing as pH3O. It's just pH. So I just like to use H. Now, remember, when we're disassociating water, right? And if we use our little equilibrium sign, there's two ions that water breaks down into, and it is the hydronium H plus, and it's the hydroxide OH minus, right? If we did rewrite H2O, it would basically be H O H two hydrogens and one oxygen in the middle. So that's where you get your acidic hydrogen and your basic hydroxide, right? The OH minus. And anytime that you see that you have ions, it's always going to be an aqueous media, right? And the water is liquid, so that's an L. That's one of the reasons why your KW formula does not have water in it. Because remember when we did last chapter with all those K values, only aqueous and gases are allowed, no liquids, right? But now we just have to find out, well, how much is this? right? How much H3O plus do I have and how much OH minus do I have? Or H plus, right? Maybe I'll just put this down here, that this is the same thing as H plus. Okay. Well, we don't really know. So I can label H plus as just saying an X value, right? Now, this is where the ratios come into play. There was no number in front of the H plus, Technically, that just means that you have one of them, right? And follow suit with the OH. There was no number in front of here, so it's a one to one. So if you're labeling H plus as X, what are you going to label OH minus? Ah, X as well, right? There's no two in front of here making this a two X. So it'd just be X and X. This is what we're trying to solve for. Now we can use this handy dandy formula, right? Kw equals H plus times OH minus. We're going to link up the H plus as being X and the OH minus as being uh, the X as well. So maybe if I just grab this and I just do that, nice, right? There we go. They gave us the Kw and maybe what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start this over here because we need a lot of formulas. So the KW they told us was 2.9 times 10 to the negative 14th. The H we're going to label as X and the OH we're going to label as X as well because they're the same. They have the same ratio. 
So let's go for it. 2.9 times 10 to the negative 14th equals, and maybe I'll do this in different colors, x times x. But remember, x times x is just x squared. So 2.9 times 10 to the negative 14th equals x squared. And what do you do to get rid of that squared? Ah, you got to take the square root. So you got to square root both sides. That gets rid of the square. And now we just have x equals, which maybe I'll just write this down in the corner over here. So let's do the square root of 2.9 times 10 to the negative 14th. And I guess we'll just do one, uh, we'll do two sig figs, if, any, if anybody cares. <laughs> but if not, that's okay. Okay, so we'll do 1.7 times 10 to the negative seventh. All right, but now we just have to label, well, what was x? Remember, with equilibrium stuff, you always go back to what you solved it as. But since h plus and oh minus was just x and x, we now know that the h plus, aka h3o plus, that's going to be 1.7 times 10 to the negative seventh molarity. And then the oh minus, which was also x, is also 1.7 times 10 to the negative seventh molarity. So two out of the four answers completed. Check and check. Now we just have to find out the pH and the pOH. Now this is where these formulas come into play. The pH is always the negative log of the H plus, H with H. So let's find the pH first. pH equals negative log of that H plus concentration. Oh, well, we just found that out. That's going to be 1.7, 1.7 times 10 to the negative seventh. pH equals, let's figure it out, negative log of 1.7. Perfect. And now pH is a little weird. Because if you actually want to do correct sig figs, the total number of sig figs in your answer is how many is in the decimal after the decimal. So this would be 6.77, we'll say. So we'll say 6.77. There was two sig figs here, so that's why there should be two after the decimal. And pH doesn't have any units. So we found out the pH. Now we just got to do the same for the POH. And OH goes with OH. So we'll say POH equals negative log of the OH minus, which technically is the same number. So do we really need to do the math again on the calculator? No, but I'm just writing it down just to show you since we're just getting our feet wet here with all these formulas. So this would also be the same number, 6.77. So we have, here's our, our pH, our pOH, and then here is our H3O plus and our OH minus. So there are our four answers. Woo, crazy. There you go, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. I really hope I'm giving you great educational content out there, and I hope you guys are learning. Let's keep learning some more. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.